Come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our God, our Maker. Come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our God, our Maker. For He is our God, and we are the people of His pasture, and the sheep of His hands, just the sheep of His hands. Good morning, my dear sisters and brothers. Good, Good morning, morning, Father. This Mass is offered for departed soul of K.M. Kuriakos by family members and also the soul of Felix Royan by Lewis, Stella and family, all souls in purgatory by Sharon and family, for the intention of Vinita and Nikita offered by Agnes Shanti Mohan and family, Intention of Lakshmi for a marriage and for a job. Intention of Lakshmi for a mother, a conversion and deliverance from all our evil. And also thanksgiving to Almighty God and to St. Anthony on the birthday of Ramulu by Viola and Franklin. Let us begin the celebration. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers, today our Holy Mother Church celebrates the memory of the dedication of Basilica of St. Mary Major. This is one of the four great Basilica in Vatican we have. And this Basilica is the first dedicated to our mother, shrine of our mother, for the pilgrim people, for our mother. Let us offer ourselves to our mother, Blessed Virgin Mary, intercede for us, and also let's feel sorry for all our sins. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and, and in what, what I have failed to do, to do through my fault, through my fault, through, through, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Pardon the faults of your servants, we pray, O Lord, that we who cannot please you by your own deeds may be saved through the intercession of a blessed ever Virgin Mary, mother of your Son and our Lord who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Jeremiah. At that time, says the Lord, I will be the God of all the families of Israel, and they shall be my people. Thus says the Lord, The people who survived the sword found grace in the wilderness. When Israel sought for rest, the Lord appeared to him from afar. I have loved you with an everlasting love, therefore I have continued my faithfulness to you. Again I will build you, and you shall be built. O virgin Israel, again you shall adorn yourself with timbrels, and shall go forth in the dance of the merrymakers. 
Again you shall plant vineyards upon the mountains of Samaria. The planters shall plant and enjoy the fruit. For there shall be a day when watchmen will call in the hill country of Ephraim, Arise, and let us go up to Zion, to the Lord our God. For thus says the Lord, Sing aloud with gladness for Jacob, and raise shouts for the king of for the chief of the nations. Proclaim, give praise, and say, The Lord has saved his people, the remnant of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, our response shall be The Lord will keep us as a shepherd keeps his flock. The Lord will keep us as a shepherd keeps his flock. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations, and declare it in the islands afar off. Say, He who scattered Israel will gather him, and will keep him as a shepherd keeps his flock. Our response. The Lord will keep us as the shepherd keeps his flock. For the Lord has ransomed Jacob and has redeemed him from hands too strong for him. They shall come and sing aloud on the height of Zion, and they shall be radiant over the goodness of the Lord. Our response. The Lord will keep us as the shepherd keeps his flock. Then shall the maidens rejoice in the dance, and the young men and the old shall be merry. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will comfort them and give them gladness for sorrow. Our response? The Lord will keep us as a shepherd keeps his flock. Kindly rise for the gospel acclamation. God has spoken to his people. Hallelujah. And this words are words of wisdom. Hallelujah. A great prophet has risen among us, and God has visited his people. God has spoken to his people. Hallelujah. And his words are words of wisdom. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At the time, Jesus went away and withdrew to the district of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman from that region came out and cried, Have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely possessed by a demon. But he did not answer her word. And his disciples came and begged him, saying, Send her away, for she is crying after us. He answered, I was only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But she came and knelt before him, saying, Lord, help me. And he answered, It is not fair to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. She said, Yes, Lord, yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table. Then Jesus answered her, a woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you desire. And a daughter was healed instantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. O woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you desire. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 15, verses 27 and 28. Dear sisters and brothers, by listening to this word, dog, you may be wondering what a harsh word our Lord Jesus is using. Jesus is not using harsh word. Jesus is making to feel who are around him, how it hurts if he use this word. The first thing we need to understand, the love of God. 
that is what we see today's first reading taken from prophet jeremiah chapter 31 god is so kind if you just reflect on the past readings that prophet jeremiah 21 uh, 24 there god is so angry i'm going to destroy you. i'm going to pull you down i'm going to make it nothing sending jeremiah and just cursing out even anania being killed with false prophecy but again we see in today's jeremiah god says his love his steadfast love is so great he will keep on loving the people whom he has created especially we see i have loved you with an everlasting love how powerful word the Lord is using. And he says, Jeremiah 31, 2 and 3, I have loved you with an everlasting love. This is the love of God. When God loves us so much, how he can hate us, how he can curse us. He wants everyone to come back, come back. But it is of our evil nature. We go away from God. We dig our own grave. We get destroyed by ourselves. Because God never destroys anybody. God never curses anybody. God never gives anybody any kind of sickness. Especially take it away, all these negatives from our mind. God only loves us. If at all you're receiving any sickness, if at all receiving any problem, anything, the more you go far away from God, you have been becoming very loose, becoming strong in the hand of Satan. That is what. When times are trials or difficulties, crisis, don't worry. The Lord will always carry you. He is with you. He is around you. He is protecting you. That faith is very important for us to need to have. When I'm speaking about the faith, let us come to today's Gospel of Matthew, chapter 15, verses 21. The same passage has been reflected in Synoptic Gospels, Gospel of Luke and Mark. They use a particular word, instead of word Canaanite women, they use Syrophoenician women. Syrophoenician women. That means a Syro Phoenician women live in a Lebanon region. Even now, this place is there. Tyre and Sidon, it's just out of the Israel. 50 kilometers or 50 miles, they call it from Israel. That is, now it falls under Lebanon. And Lebanon is a place where we still we have the connection where earlier it was called a part of Israel. Now, Tyre and Sidon, this is a Canaanite people. Before the Israelites could enter, land was occupied by them god removed them and made again reoccupy israelites tyre and sidon it is a history we speak about a salvation history also so the tyre and sidon the people where we live those are called as a pagans or gentiles according to greeks and according to jewish and what this jewish people is to think they are the real remnant of god they are only chosen people of god rest all these people around israel they're called as dogs because according to jewish people dog is something which is uncertain unclean which is not fit to live useless creature this is what god without love he has created them according to their perception is this that is what jesus used the same term there were two cries today you could have seen the same Gospel of Matthew, chapter 15, verses 23 and 24, two cries are there. One cry of a mother, so-called Canaanite woman, mother, a lady who pleads for a daughter, asking Jesus, please help. Just keep on crying, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. This is the word she's using, have mercy on me, have mercy on me. She's taking her own daughter's pain on her, pleading to Jesus. This you should observe, this is the first cry. When this first cry is happening, Jesus is not bothered. Jesus remained as if he's a deaf, not even heard anything. The second cry comes from the disciples and apostles around him. They feel proud that they being a Jew. And second thing, they get so much of upset when this lady is coming in front of them because she is a Canaanite, she is not fit to live, and she is a pagan. She is not selected by God, chosen by God. And she comes and keep on making all kinds of voices here, sounds here, and that's really humiliating them. So why a pagan has to come and speak to us? Why she has to stand in front of us? Chase her away. This is the second cry from the disciples. Chase her away. Chase her away. Give something. Chase her away. Two cries we see. One cry is pleading for mercy. Another cried arrogant cry saying, chase her away. This is the 
attitude of apostles and disciples with Jesus. Jesus remained silent. With the own word of the apostles, disciples, what the Old Testament, all the Pharisees were using, all the disciples were using, Jesus used the same word. I have sent, not to anybody else, I have sent only to Israelites, the lost sheep. He says in front of everyone, and everybody observes, yeah, Master is speaking correctly. And she just remains there. Secondly, she pleases, have mercy on me again. Here we see, she again she says, Lord, help me. Help me, when after Jesus saying this word. And Jesus says, what has been given for children, I have sent to give them. I cannot throw whatever I have given to the children to the dogs. Jesus used his word. Whatever has been given for children, so they came themselves, Israelites are the children of God and others are dog. What I given for the Israelites, for the Jews, I cannot give for you, you dog, he says. Israelites, all are just watching. And look at the beautiful answer. She says, yes, Lord, we are dogs. I agree, according to all your people, Jews. But yet, don't the dog eat the leftover of the master? Dogs also eat, right? We don't give the lion's share, the share of your children. At least give the share of the dog what you kept in your house. So my dear sisters and brothers, this is very powerful word we need to reflect. We cannot go away like this. Look at the faith of these women. And Jesus uses very powerful statement, a phrase he says, Oh man, woman, great is your faith. Have you heard any women in the scripture? Yeah, we have prophetess in the Old Testament, Deborah, and other prophetess who come. And there is other women, except Mother Mary and St. Joseph, nobody was exalted. And after Mother Mary and Joseph, it is this lady was exalted by God, a oh, woman, great is your faith. Because indirectly when Jesus preached, the woman who gave birth to you, from whose breast you suck, she is great. When they say, greater are the women who listen to the word of God, who do the will of my father. It is Mother Mary alone she did. And after Mother Mary, a pagan lady comes and pleads to God. And this is a woman, Jesus appreciates her. And second word, let it happen according to your desire. My dear sisters and brothers, very important for us to make a note. Never ever be arrogant. We are not worthy. At the mercy of God, we were brought. Whatever today we may have, it may hurt you when we, the anointed persons, preach. Whatever we may have, it's nothing of us. It's all from God. Because of those material things, what is existing, don't be so arrogant. Don't be too much of show off. Because we are mere mortal humans. Today, this pandemic season gives a great example. If you get that particular sickness and if you die, not even your own family can touch your body. They don't even give a place for you in your own graveyard to dig and put for your body. If that is the situation, what is that we are doing it? So that is what Jesus in the front of the Israelites saying that he is insulting that lady dog because in their own word of apostle disciples, how they express. And Jesus exalting in the end. Women, great is your faith. He never exalted any Israelites, any Jewish people so called themselves as the children of God. This as a pagan lady, a Canaanite, Tyre and Sidon, living in a Lebanon, a region so called. They have been completely set apart, aside, and they don't know anything about God. Though don't know anything about righteousness, faithfulness, and holiness, but look at this lady's faith. A faith is greater, greater, greater than anybody else of the Jewish people. Today, we need to reflect on this. God is crying. I can use this word. I can use this word, no matter, because he's a loving father. A God is crying like a mad dog in the Old Testament. Come back to me. Come back to me. Where are we? The same Jesus also saying this. Come back to me. Where are we going? We are living in sin. Still, we are living in sin. Once one favor is answered, you don't even turn towards the church. You keep on praying for your daughter, your sons for marriage proposal. Once you get it, don't even bother coming to thank the Lord. Busy in arranging for marriage. Busy in arranging for a business. Busy in arranging, bidding a new car, new bike, everything you got, God gave. No thanksgiving. Busy in that. In return, anything we have done? Nothing. So my dear sisters and brothers, we need to realize, if we go far away from God, we dig our own grave. If we remain close to God in times of difficulties, crisis, God will never leave us. This is a powerful example we should learn from the Syrophoenician women, how she was pleading to God. 
how she was asking for mercy of God. And don't be like arrogant, like disciples and apostles. Don't take pride in anything. Once upon a time, I use a word called spiritual pride. These days, we have a spiritual pride. I go for mass, I go for prayer, I attend the prayer service, I'm here, I'm a Catholic, I do rosary, but there is no any virtue in us. There is no any charity in us. There is no any good quality in us. There is no love in us. Today, the Lord has given great example. The more we humble, the Lord will exalt us. Like a Syrophoenician woman, let us come to God, acknowledge we are nothing, we are dogs, but God will exalt us more than anything else. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness we have received, the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of a human hand. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness we have received, the wine we offer you fruit of the wine work of a human hands it will become our spiritual drink blessed be god forever with humble spirit contract heart may we accept the prayer lord god may i sacrifice this day be pleasing to god god oh lord wash away my sins in the name of jesus pray my dear sisters and brothers that my sacrifice yours may be acceptable god the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice into your hands for, for the, the praise, praise and glory of his name, for our good, good and for this good most holy, holy church. church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray. And accepting the oblation of these spiritual sacrifices, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess the living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. So with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave a disciple, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave a disciple, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, the partaking of the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, a church spread throughout the world. Bring it to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, a Pope, Peter, a Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Let's remember all the departed brothers, sisters, parents, and family relatives, all the community members. May God grant them eternal bliss to everyone and welcome them to his kingdom. Especially remember the departed soul of Felix Royne, the departed soul of K.M. Kuriakos, and also all the souls in purgatory of Abai Sharin and family. Lord, very especially we pray for all the souls that be not remembered. Soul of Anthony de Souza, soul of George Victoria, soul of Reverend Father A.S. Anthony Sami, and all the priests and religious. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy on the families all gathered here. Very especially those who ask us to pray to whom you promised our prayers. Those who are sick, those who are hospitalized, those who are under treatment, those who need our prayers and help. Have mercy, Lord. Those who are in a difficult crisis during this season. Those who have lost their jobs. Those are looking for the life partners for the children. And also, Lord, they're looking for a life. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy. Especially we pray for the intention of Vinita and Nikita. We pray for the intention of Lakshmi for a marriage and for her job intention to Lakshmi for deliverance from all a healer, for healing and for mother conversion. We also we pray for, especially as you've given the gift of life to Ramulu as the mother and the father of Viola. Lord, have mercy on them. May the Holy Spirit always help them to receive the grace as you've given the gift of life to Ramulu. Have mercy on us all. We pray that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, a spouse, Blessed Apostles, Lord, especially we pray for all those who are participating in the Holy Eucharist, the parishioners, and also those who are in the Life Channel. Have mercy on them. We pray for their intentions and the prayers with all the saints, Saint Anthony, Saint Francis Xavier. We are pleased to throw the ages. We may merit to be co hedged in a life. We praise and glorify you through your Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done, on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day, day our daily bread. bread. Forgive, Forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress. As I with the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. Lord Jesus, cast at your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church. Graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, 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 peace. Lamp of God. You take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is Jesus, the truly living God who loves us, who cares for us, who comes behind us. This is the Lord will never send us empty-handed. According to our faith, He will reward us. He is the Lord who answers all our prayer, heals all our wounds. Happy are those called to the supper of this living God. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
act of spiritual communion my jesus my jesus i believe i believe that you are present that you are present in the most holy sacrament in the most holy sacrament i love you i love you above all things above all things and i desire earnestly and i desire earnestly to receive you to receive you into my soul into my soul since i cannot since i cannot at this moment at this moment receive you sacramentally receive you sacramentally come spiritually into my heart come spiritually into my heart i embrace you i embrace you as you are already there as you are already there in my heart in my heart and unite myself and unite myself wholly to you wholly to you never permit me never permit me to be separated from you to be separated from you amen amen the bread that i will give says the lord is my flesh for the life of the world <coughs> let us pray may the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us o lord confirm us in the light of your truth through christ our lord amen pray to saint anthony o loving saint anthony you were a special witness of god's power and a loving imitator of jesus who received from god the special power of restoring lost things and the patron of the poor we lift up our prayers to you we trust fully and confidently ask your aid in our present need help all of us in our daily struggles giving us hope and peace pray for us saint anthony so that we may continue to grow in god's love intercede for us through christ our lord amen and the lord be with you and, and with your spirit and may almighty god bless you and your families the father and the son and the holy spirit come upon you remain with you now and forever amen, amen. go forth the mass is ended thanks, thanks be to god Shepherd of my soul I give you full control wherever you may lead I will follow I have made a choice to listen to your voice. 